Welcome home, everybody. Good to see you. Pound it. Bring it in. Great to see you. Great to see you. Great to be back. Great to be back. So, anyway, so t this video is going to be a little bit different because uh, instead of getting into the scriptures and uh, praying or something like that, Monday was um, President's Day. So if you went to, you were a kid, you were happy because you got the day off. Uh, if you went to work that gave you the day off, you were probably excited about that. I, I, I still worked, but you know, still, it's still a day, um, today, praise the Lord. <laughs> but it did get me kind of thinking, you know, who is or what, well, what makes a president so great? I say that because, you know, I started thinking, what is my favorite president? Or, you know, and I just kind of got, got in that mindset. And so I just kind of, I thought that would be kind of a good little discussion thing. Or at least me ranting on about presidents. Um, and what, who is, I think, the greatest president? And why? Um, you know, I've only been around long enough. I've only been able to, I've only actually endured, or I, I've had to deal with, or been born, been alive to uh, see the effects and such of what five I don't know not that many presidents <laughs> out of all the presidents we've had uh, we've had a lot and I've not been here around but from what we hear from history and what they have done that uh, that is what really is this based on and because of that. We're going to exclude the first 10 years of presidents. So I think that's the last last four presidents aren't even on the list. Don't, yeah, not even on um, just because of history and time and such like that. But we'll go ahead and go in. And so now the majority of the time whenever somebody says who is the best president, you know, the, your typical presidents come up like uh, George Washington. Arguably, one of uh, Abraham Lincoln is pretty much usually number one, but you know George Washington, uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, Theodore Roosevelt, uh, presidents like that usually come up. Thomas Jefferson, I mean, the guys on Mount Rushmore, all those guys come into come into the frame of mind. You know, sorry, I got a little distracted, but you know, I, I got this new place, really nice, actually, really pretty. You know, background, all that. I really like the setup, everything. This is our actually our usher room here at the church. I really thought it'd be a little bit more quieter, but man, I can hear everybody walking by. And now I'm kind of concerned if somebody just walks on in. But it's all right. Anyway, praise the Lord. It's great. A lot of opening doors. So if you hear a lot of opening doors, that's why. A little bit of soundproofing, but hey, fun play. Anyway, so now I just... So other than those great presidents that everyone associates with, there are also some presidents that are undoubtedly considered to be garbage presidents. Or I, sh I guess I shouldn't say that, but let's just say not very good presidents. Uh, so we said good presidents, presidents like Abraham Lincoln, George Washington, Roosevelt's always a good one, and Thomas Jefferson because, you know, he's on Mount Rushmore. So, But then on the other side we have... Uh, while James Buchanan, Andrew Johnson, uh, Franklin Pierce have been usually the bottom presidents of you know people who people like. Honestly, you know, some of those people I don't even know anything about, so I can't judge. However, they're historically been the bottoms in surveys. I didn't know that they did surveys, but anyway, they've always been at the bottom. Now mine is much more opinionated instead of maybe factual. Granted, there are some facts about them and that I really, really do enjoy. Um, I mean, so we'll just, just dive right on in, shall we? I mean, it's just pain anyway, so anything you think of, any president you think is better is wrong. So we'll just go with that. <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't get you, no more. Honestly, actually, I, I'm one of those people who I'm always like, well, it really depends because, you know, Franklin, we'll go with the list that I just said in the beginning, you know, uh, so Franklin D. Roosevelt. Honestly, I don't think he was that great of a president. However, he was the president that really, he, he, for the time he was in, he was perfect for. Because, you know, he did get us out of the Depression. And, you know, he did help. He, he, he led most of World War II. So he did a lot of good. And he did get, 
he was very good at uniting America, I think. That's what he was the best for. But as great as the best, no. Uh, then we take a look at George Washington, the first, the OG. Um, great president, I, I would say. However, his stuff, what, what he did was a lot more stuff that was before he became president, I think. He was a great leader, and he was a great man of the people, and I really think that he was... I mean, he was the perfect choice to be the first president, honestly. There was nobody better. Um, Thomas Jefferson, you could say he did a little bit more. And, you know, I mean, he did get his face on, a, on the side of a mountain. So, that too, which is always a good plus. Uh, but then, honestly, and like, there's all these other presidents go that go on. I mean, you got presidents such as... <clears throat> Oh, there's all of them that just flip. But like, I mean, every president has done a good thing. This is what I want to get at. I know I'm stumbling over my words, but basically I'm trying to segue, not very well, but segue into that every single president has done good things and they've done bad things. Sometimes more bad than good, and sometimes more good than bad. However, to make so... Really, to make so a great president, they've done more good than bad. I mean, every single president has done something good, I think. Has there been a president that never did anything good? I don't know. I, I guess I should have double-checked. I'm much more of a history buff, so more of the older presidents, I know. And every single, very, especially from the very beginning, John Adams, uh, even, even Andrew Jackson. Why do I say even like Andrew Jackson? But Andrew Jackson. All those older, Garfield, uh, Truman... I, I mean, Eisenhower, uh, Grant, all these presidents have done great things, have done good things, and they've also maybe done not so good things. But for me, the, really it's a tie between two. One, because of what he did, and the other one, because he was just, j just other than a president, being an awesome president, just was a, he was just an awesome dude. I mean, he was a great dude. So obviously, first, Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> you can't really say. I mean, the man who won the Civil War, united uh, a country. Well, didn't get to see it happen, but he, he did end up uniting a country. And battled one of the most terrible things in humankind. And it's just awesome dude. That and also a guy who rocks a top hat like that and an amazing beard. As you can see, you know, we're trying to work on that. I think if I had a top hat, I'd look like a lot of like Abraham Lincoln. I'm not tall enough, but, you know, or you know, skinny enough, but, hey, why not? So, I mean, OG, you know the reasons. Face on a, uh, on a, a side of a hip mountain, hill, about said mountain. But the other one that really got to say is Theodore Roosevelt. Now, I don't think he did some. I mean, he, he wasn't in uh, during a wartime... At, I mean, he fought in wars, but he wasn't a president during wartime, so he didn't get to see his prowess then. But just his his love for nature. He was he was a manly man. I mean, he was a man's man. Went out hunting. I mean, they called him Teddy, you know, because he wouldn't tra shoot a trapped bear. Loved nature. He, you know, he strengthened America's military with the, you know, the white fleet. Uh, had great quotes. And really, honestly, one of the, the biggest reasons why, and I'll, I'll end it here because it might be getting a little too long for you guys. You guys are probably like, I'm done listening about presidents. But one of the biggest things is he got shot before he made a speech. And he still made the speech. And he even, he even showed it off. Uh, it's just, and he, you know, godly man, all, all most of these, I, honestly, actually. Another thing. But anyway. And this, and this kid, he, he, he had syphilis. He, he, when he was young, he had syphilis, and he just, he just toughed it up. Like, my word. So those are my two favorite presidents, who I think are the greatest presidents, Abraham Lincoln and Teddy Roosevelt. I hope you guys liked it. I got ran a little bit, so I, was, I liked it. And um, yeah, hopefully you learned some stuff about, well, presidents and me rambling on. It's supposed to be more educational, but really, I just rambled. So, hope you guys liked it. <laughs> I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Or, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.
Later.